you know, let's just deal with Snowden for a sec. So he says, I'm offended by the Constitution, uh, the breaches of the Constitution. I, I am too, if, if, if I'm a victim of abuse. But what does he do? He goes in and he takes uh, one and a half million files that pertained uh, to other things beyond uh, meta, meta mining for, for data. And so on that million and a half files, how's that any different than, than these illegal fishing fleets that go out there with 100 kilometers of net and take everything in the ocean? They only need three species of fish, but they wipe out everything and create virtual deserts behind them. I don't see the difference between how Snowden has gone in and destroyed so many other uh, operations and apparatus and things that protect uh, the citizens, not just of the United States, but of the world. So, you know, people want to call him a hero, fly at it, but he's no hero of mine. And, and the biggest danger I see today is not, is not with uh, big bad government. And, and again, I've seen abuses, so I'm not defending them blindly. And, and, and people got to go to jail who, who lie and cover up and, and hide behind their ranks or, or their positions. But when push comes to shove, the real world is the real world. You know, uh, mankind hasn't changed in 10,000 years, and predators are predators. And there's a lot of people out there that they're not going to ask for something, they're just going to go and take it. And unless you have hard people who are willing to stand up and be counted and to say, okay, I'll, I'll fight the fight, um, you better phone next time you're, you have somebody breaking down your door or somebody's about to do harm to you or your loved ones. Don't phone me. Don't phone a lot of guys who work for, for these government agencies. Phone Julian Assange. You might find him. He's hiding out in, in uh, the embassy. Phone, you know, Edward Snowden. He's with his new best friends. 